Hello and welcome back to some Mark Engine Impact. So I'm here in uh, this little uh, place. I don't know if this is a village. Where is this place actually? Just out of curiosity. Uh, it looks like I'm in Inazuma City. Anyways, I've got to talk to Kurosawa here. Uh, so let's get started with that. I've never even heard of these emergency provisions. I don't know whether it's rumors or whether they're trying to blackmail me. But either way, it's ridiculous. If I was hoarding supplies, would I still be the poor man I am today? Oh, I must have misread him, because in the last video I thought maybe he really did do what they said. My own family can barely get by as it is. No, if you'll excuse me, I've got other matters to attend to. We heard that you lost your vision recently. And that's the first bit of truth I've heard all day. The Shogun's army told me that I was unworthy of my vision. And they said I was slacking off in my work. Apparently, I'd even disappointed the Raiden Shogun. And that's why they confiscated my vision. Okay, so a little theory here. This guy might have lost his memories related to the emergency uh, provisions. Well, that's strange. You were helping enforce the Vision Hunt Decree. Why would you be unworthy of your vision? To be perfectly honest, I don't seem to remember the details. All I know is that I would perform certain things every month. But I don't recall what they were. And it's not just that. I have this unsettling feeling like, like someone owes me something. Does it have to do with the missing emergency provisions? I didn't take any. Like I said, if I was taking them for myself, I wouldn't be going through such hard times right now. To top it all off, my house was just raided by treasure hoarders, which is why I came here in the first place. I was chasing after them when I got held up by these two. If you don't believe me, go find the treasure hoarders yourself. If there were any emergency provisions to be had, they would have found them. Yeah, I agree, Paimon. Well, we better confirm. Let's go round up those treasure hoarders and see what they have to say. We should be able to follow their tracks. They couldn't have gone too far. Yeah, either this guy is a pretty good actor or, uh... Or he is innocent. So, let's go ahead and do this. The treasure hoarders shouldn't be too hard to find. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. I'm surprised they didn't run further away. If I was them, I would have run. We really outdid ourselves this time. Uh, you did? I can't see nothing. All those samurai houses packed with goods? <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. I mean, besides that one house. You haven't seen anything yet. There'll be a lot more where this came from. Today's just the beginning. I'll be leading you all on an epic journey of pillage and plunder that will go down in hoarder history. Okay, but do you really want to plan this so close to the city? I'm just saying. You demand, boss! Now he's an idiot. These seem like the treasure hoarders we're after. Let's teach him a lesson! Ah... <sighs> It almost feels like bullying when they're this stupid. <laughs> Another test of solidify. Here we go. Like, Time for take -off. Why wouldn't you make sure? Ah, I keep saying that, that I'm gonna. What do you call it? Kitchen. What's her name? There goes all the mora. Official. We worked hard to steal that, you know. Come on, boss. Think of something. <clears throat> Not bad, kid. You ever think of joining the treasure hoarders? We could use someone like you. Forget it. Tell us all you know about Kurosawa. Kurosawa? Oh, I remember. So he's the one who sent you after us, huh? <laughs> Just our luck. I knew we shouldn't have hit that place. So what did you see inside? Was it stuffed with food supplies? Food supplies? You kidding? That place was a complete mess. 
All we found was a strange looking box, hopefully with valuables inside. I didn't want anyone else to see it, so I was planning on opening it myself once we got back. But now that you've caught us, how about we make a deal? That little box for our freedom. What do you say? No deal, we've already caught ya. You've got a deal! Now show us what's in the box! Paimon? Why would you say that? Huh? What the? Th there's nothing in here but IOUs! <laughs> Yeah, a lot of them too. And they all seem to be made out to the owner of a general goods store, a Miss Aoi. We're talking tons of Mora here. Miss Aoi, huh? We better talk to this Miss Aoi and get to the bottom of this. As for you guys, you're free to go. Just pray that our paths don't cross again. Paimon, why are you letting them go? Y yes, of course. So, we redeemed ourselves for some IOUs. Uh, does that mean we broke even? Shut it. Let's just get out of here. <sighs> okay, so something fishy is going on here. Let's cut this butterfly. Um, I'm gonna grab this very fast. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going on right now. I want to see where this is located. Because I uh, forget. Go to quests. Uh, where is this located at? I just gotta know. Because I'm gonna go over and start. Okay, I gotta go over there. A little bit later. Because uh, once I do a little bit more of this quest, then I'm gonna go over there and do some of that as well. Still, I'm on should not have agreed to let those people go. They had nowhere to go. We had them. Doesn't matter though. Uh, owner of Ame Noma Smithy, huh? Let's talk to Hajime here. Sorry I have a lot on my plate right now. I can only talk to you while I work. Would you like to buy a weapon? Or do you have a forging request? I want to look for a weapon, so I'm looking for something. These are all works of an uh, Ame Noma art that I've that have been approved by my master. Take Gander, okay. Uh, I just wanted to see what kind of garbage they were selling here. Uh, I was hoping for something else, but whatever, it doesn't matter. That really was. Uh, really was pretty bad. It's the first shop that I've seen, though, in this whole place. That's why I wanted to stop there. Okay, so this path is not doing me any good. What is up with this? Uh, what is up with this little cave right here? Okay, I, I don't like taking detours, usually, but I have to check it out. I, I'm lying. I do like taking detours. Sorry. I take detours all the time. That was a neat little uh, thing that they did there. I don't understand the reason why they did it, but it was neat regardless. So what's up here now? Uh... Okay, that's just weird. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's go back this way then. And at this point, I wish that I had uh, Mona. I think that was her name. She could run across the water. Which I thought was pretty cool. Okay. Let me see. Talk to Aoi. The general store. Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. We've got everything you need. Can I help you find something? Or perhaps, there's something you want to inquire about? About these IOUs. Ah, so you're friends of Kurosawa, I take it? <laughs> perhaps you're here to pay off his debts. That depends on how much it is. Whoa, whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves! We're just here to learn where they all came from. 
<laughs> of course Paimon would be obsessed with the the mo monetary aspect of things. How did Kurosawa end up owing you so much money? Did he buy anything super expensive here? Let me think. Kurosawa would come regularly to purchase large quantities of foodstuffs. He'd always put the payment on his own account. However, the price of provisions began to skyrocket recently, and his salary was no longer enough to cover the cost. So, he started writing out IOUs to cover whatever he couldn't afford of the usual amount. So that's how he was getting those emergency provisions. But why did he have to purchase a usual amount? If the price is increased, couldn't he just buy less? Well, if you think about it, the citizens receiving the emergency provisions must have been carefully calculating how much they needed to sustain them each time. Kurosawa thought that it would be quite the disappointment for them if they found they didn't have enough, especially after such long and careful planning. So he deemed it necessary to take on the debt rather than let the people down. Well, he seems like a decent guy. Wow. Was purchasing all the emergency provisions at his own expense. And no one ever appreciated what he did. They just complained and held him accountable. People's attitudes will always reflect their circumstances. In the face of hardship, nobody cares to think twice. Uh, if you ask me, had Kurosawa told everyone the truth about the supplies from the start, then there wouldn't be such a severe backlash now. Why haven't you told everybody about the truth, lady? Of course. I'm sure there would still have been some unrest. What he was doing was truly a thankless deed. As for why he chose to spend his own money on emergency provisions and never tell anyone, I'm still not too clear myself. If you're still curious, why don't you go ask him yourself? Unfortunately, he doesn't remember. I see. That reminds me... It seems that his vision was recently confiscated. Most unfortunate. If he doesn't clear the debt on his name, he'll have no choice but to sell that sword that is so dear to him. Oh, really now? Sword? What sword? Oh, didn't he tell you? He possesses a very valuable blade. He's carried it for years now. I've asked him about its origins. He told me that it was a gift from his father, that it was too precious to sell. Why does she so, sound so angry about it? In hindsight, I regret that I never made an offer on it. Everything has its price, at least that's what I think. Why don't you ask him about the sword yourself? Perhaps it'll even provide you with the answers you're looking for. Oh, but before you go, if you would kindly settle today's bill. <laughs> but we didn't buy anything! <laughs> Information is also a kind of commodity, wouldn't you agree? Don't worry, I won't charge much for information about Kurosawa. Nothing we ever discussed was explicitly confidential anyway. Oh, let me think. 2,000 mora should be a fair price. Fair enough. At least we now know where the emergency provisions are coming from. Plus, we found out that Kurosawa has a priceless sword in his possession. Let's go talk to Kurosawa again, and see if he can remember anything. Okay then. Let's go do just that. I... wonder if somebody is aiming specifically for his sword. Perhaps the uh, Raiden Shogun wanted the sword and he refused so now he's suffering the consequences of his refusal I don't know why the Raiden Shogun would want it though um, what are you doing here all by yourself where did those other two go I presented them with a the choice either they left or I drew my sword they left it turned out to be a real time saver actually Perhaps I should start using it more often. Did you manage to track down the treasure hoarders? Everything I said was true, right? Actually... You, you recount your encounter with that the treasure hoarders. That just sums it up. It turns out that you really were distributing emergency provisions. But they were all purchased at your own expense. 
strange. Is that really the kind of person I was? I don't really have any such recollection. Even after all you've told me, I still don't remember anything. Why was I purchasing emergency provisions for everyone? And why would I put myself in such a difficult situation? <sighs> I really don't understand. But I cannot deny that when I brandished my sword to scare those two away, I could sense that my body was somehow reluctant to do so. Uh, mind if we have a look? This sword was once wielded by my father. I remember once when I was young, I wanted to sneak out with the blade and show it off to the kids next door. My father ended up catching me in the act and scolded me severely. What did he say? <sighs> I can't seem to remember that either. It would seem that I forgot many important things when my vision was taken from me. So many memories gone. Forever. No matter how hard I try to remember, all I can remember now is my father telling me that this blade bore his life's creed. Before he passed away, he placed the sword in my hands and said to me, with this sword, you should. Hey, if you look carefully, there seems to be some words engraved on the hilt. Can you recognize the words? The words are virtue and justice. Virtue and justice? Somehow those two words seem to explain everything now. Taking on seemingly endless debts to make others happy. I guess that must have been my greatest ambition after all. But what use are virtue and justice? I purchased the provisions for those in need. And look how things ended up. The Tenryo Commission seized my vision. And the very people I was so desperately trying to help refused to understand me. And the irony of all of it is... I somehow still felt sorry when threatening them with my blade. I'm incapable of being a good person, yet I'm equally unable to be bad. I... I don't know what to do with myself. Yet another troubled soul. When we get the chance, let's speak to Toma about Kurosawa's debt. The Yashiro Commission would surely help cover his expenses. In any case, we must never let him sell off that sword. Uh, losing a vision? Yeah. Seems like losing all ambition is a terrible experience. Fortunately for us, you don't have a vision. Let's go find the next poor soul. Hmm. Okay then, so that part of this quest is done, and they want us to go uh, find the next person who lost their vision, the sword master who aimed to be the greatest under heaven, descended into madness after losing his vision. He decided to help his disciples investigate the cause. Uh, so, the next person isn't too far away from here. They're in that house, but we're gonna actually head all the way over here and start doing the next part of the timed quest. <sighs> the worst thing they ever had in this game was time quests. That's all I have to say. I wish I could do these things at a more leisurely pace. I believe her name is Muzen. Yeah. Hi, Muzen. Thanks to the clues you brought back, I'm now able to pinpoint the location of the ruin machines. However, we need to take care of a little problem before we do that. There are some electro anomalies near that uh, nearby that are interfering with the tracking process. I'll give you the location of these anomalies. Please get rid of them. Just as before, I'll need you to bring some samples back. Firstly, to study how I might use them. And secondly, well, we are a merchant fleet after all. We've got to see if they've got any commercial work, of course. And how are your studies going on that front? Hmm. The samples you've give, that you've given me, if properly used, might give the Crux fleet 
a new way of dodging thunderstorms with ease that doesn't rely on our mobility. If so, it would make our com commercial route to and from Inazuma that much more secure, and we would have a more guaranteed efficiency. However, seeing as the Sokoku Decree is the Shogun's will, such accent actions may displease her. So, of course, the most direct result of our research is that we can use the age and light of these anomalous electro growths to determine the size and origin of electro anomalies. These origins, of course, are the target we're looking for the ancient mysterious ruin organisms. Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry, got a little carried away there. Well, then, this is the final stretch. Let's get going. Um, go to the Electro Anomaly and complete the challenge. So, it's all the way down here. And thankfully, there is a spot that's close to there. Can I teleport directly to it? No. But I can still set up a navigation point to it. So, let's go ahead and do the next part. Of this, I don't know how long it's going to be, I don't even know what it's going to be about, but I do know that, at the very least, I intend to do one or more of these in this video. I wonder what these uh, mechanisms are for. I'll eventually take the time to figure that stuff out. During the Thunder Sojourn, uh, Sojourn event, Travelers can activate mechanisms to initiate the we uh, Weaving Lightning Challenge. Once the challenge begins, travelers must defeat all opponents within the stipulated time limit. The Weaving Lightning has a unique mechanic no known as the Nimbus Gem that will release electric pulses to link up with characters who are carrying Electro Grana or affected by Electro. Characters will gain various buffs depending on the number of Nimbus Gems that are linked to, uh, they are linked to, okay? One Lake Nimbus Gem, the active character continually continually recharges energy, the rate of regeneration increasing with more links. Two Lake Nimbus Gems, other than the aforementioned effect, all characters in the party deal increased damage with their elemental bursts. Uh, three Link Nimbus Gems, hitting opponents with normal attack charge attacks, plunging attacks, elemental skills, elemental bursts, will unleash a shockwave at that opponent's location. Shockwaves created in this manner have a cooldown. Okay. So, start the challenge. Activate this. And there we go. Think you can get away? This is order. Do this. With sword comes shadow. Where is that? Try to keep that active. Oh wow, this guy has like a blocking posture with the sword. Interesting. Solidify. Let's play. Summon the Electro Grana again. They want to make sure that you stay on your toes there. When it comes to that. Yourself. Uh, summon that again. Time for take off. Do this again. I will have order. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Complete the weaving lightning challenge one time. Uh, they want you to do it five times, ten times. Defeated a total of fifteen. Opponents while linked with two Nimbus Gems, okay. The three, I did it with three. Uh, didn't I? Anyways, uh, that's interesting. So the next part, which is the final part, the Automaton Front. So what I'm going to do is, is the Lightning Round, the Weaving Lightning, those two, because those are essentially just fights like that, I think I'm going to do most of those off camera. But we'll find out later. 
Only one step separates you from uh, you and your goal. It's time to finish this hunt. Okay, facing distant echoes. The prep work is complete. Now all that is left is to head into the ruins to confront those mysterious ancient machines. Okay. And it shouldn't be too hard. Where? Wait a second. Oh, it's all the way up here. Okay. I thought that I'd have to go back to Muzen, but I wasn't sure. So. Ah. I apologize, my nose is all itchy. My sinuses are all itchy. I don't know why they're all of a sudden like that. Uh, hopefully this last challenge is also uh, fairly straightforward. Doctor. Well, looks like we finally located our target. Great. Guess I can go back to the ship and get some sleep. What? You're gonna leave just like that? Of course not. We're so close. Let's head out right now and capture ourselves a ruin machine. Huh. And here, Paimon thought you were going to return to the ship. Ah, well, never mind. Let's follow her. Okay, then. Open up the map. Teleport all the way over. Oh my goodness, I haven't been over there yet. Um, well, this is going to be a little bit awkward. Let's teleport to right here. And I'll just run straight over there from uh, here. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting closer and closer to not necessarily finishing this whole quest, but at the very least not having to worry about it as much anymore. It's kind of been a uh, annoying. This particular one has, that is. I don't know why I didn't really want to do this one compared to some of the ones in the past. Like, it's not really that much more difficult than some of the ones that I've done in the past. It's just for some reason, I didn't really want to do it. Had that star right there. Hopefully that's close enough. Eh. If I try to grab this treasure chest... Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't care. I'm not grabbing it. I don't care. Oh crap, I'm about to run out of MP. What is up with those people. That's kind of weird. Look how they're just standing there. Okay. I shouldn't have uh, gotten that close. I'll worry about the, uh, all these people later. There's a lot of new enemy types. Oh my goodness. It's one of those doors. Talk to Muzen. Haha. -ha, this is the place. To think there would be an underground ruins here, too. Uh, what's the matter? N nothing It's nothing. You don't look so good. Are you unwell? Haha. <laughs> I just don't normally get off the boat, so this ruin entrance is, well, quite a sight. Really? Paimon doesn't think so. S still, the captain's orders still need to be complete uh, completed. I'm sure you're really curious as to what treasures lie within as well, aren't you, Traveler? So, could I invite you, experienced and skilled as you are, to take the lead? You're helpless. That she is. Come on, Traveler, let's go. Okay, so... The automated front. Uh... Traces of the elemental anomalies point to the final domain. Unprecedentedly powerful ruined machines linger within. Defeat them in one fell swoop. Uh, so let's start. And I think I'm going to switch her out for Fischl. 
in the name of the princessin. Because Fischl is definitely better overall for support. Like, you know, having her summon Oz and the damage that that generates while Diluc and uh, Venti are doing their thing. Anyways, what in the world? Why did I get a crest reward? Whatever. During the Thunder Sojourn event, travelers can challenge the unmaiden front to man. Defeat the perpetual uh, mechanical array to obtain precious thunder crystal. Okay. Mechanisms such as thunder dwellings and nimbus gems will appear within this domain. Use them wisely to defeat your opponents more easily. Oh, so they kind of built off of the idea of, uh, of the Electro Grana thing. Okay. Where are you? Well, that's an interesting enemy. Gather. By this. royal decree. Uh, activate this. I don't know why. Uh, where? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Activate this. This. This is a weird enemy, isn't it? Oz, reveal thy gather. And I don't even know where the uh Okay, there we are. What? Okay, this is odd. Stabilize. Well it doesn't matter. Okay. I am a little bit confused by what's going on, but it's fine. I'll figure it out as I go along. Hopefully, uh, maybe I'm supposed to attack that one. Oh, I think I understand. So, once you do that, you attack this one. I didn't know how long it would be stunned for. By royal decree. Okay. I think I'm understanding this a little bit better now. Where, where did this appear to? Oh. This is definitely an awkward one, though. Like that part where it does that thing where it shoots off like a rocket ship. It's kind of weird, too. It's all throwing me off. Solidify. I was expecting to see those, uh, what do you call them? The gems and stuff more often in this fight. This guy is not a pushover. Like, he has a ton of HP. Okay. Uh... The one that I want to deal with is this one right here. I think. No, that's not the one. It's this one. Solidify! I will have order! Wherever it might be. Ah, I'm confused. It doesn't matter. It does matter. You can get away. Is I'll eventually kill somebody. I gotta open up the menu and heal up d because otherwise he's gonna die. And that would suck. Okay, do that, then this, then this. Stabilize! Order guide you! 
Okay. Wow, I already recovered my uh my thing, huh? I will have order. I'm just a little bit confused as to what's going on because where is this it? Yeah, this is it. Burn. Uh, where? Oh, there it is. Verdict is. There you go. I was hoping to deal a little bit more damage. The way this works, is very, very odd. Like, I am completely stunned by how weird this is. And it doesn't help that this guy is like a tank. I mean, he takes tons and tons of damage. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I better heal up again. At least heal up official. Midnight Phantasmagoria! Stay near one of these trees so that way once it does the fancy summoning crap, I can at least gain some benefits. Okay, it's this one. Right? No? Okay, it is. Damn you! What in the world is going on? Stabilize! I am I will have order. Confused. And Deelix needs to be healed for Ken. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, I, it's partially my own fault because I haven't been upgrading the characters. Actually, I have upgraded Deelix. Okay, which one am I supposed to attack? Why aren't they making it more clear? Okay, there, there we go. Order guide you. Like, they throw so many of these guys at you, it's hard to tell which one is which. In this mess. By royal decree. It's a mess of nonsense. And you gotta worry about activating this. Where is it? Why does it keep disappearing? Eh. Jerk. That's all I have to say is they're jerks. I will have order. There we go. Time for takeoff. Come on. They steal some damage to it. Ah. Verdict is. Whatever, no matter. As long as I keep dealing damage to it, it'll eventually die. I just found out that this is the best possible phase to stabilize to attack it in. At first I thought that the other phase might be good, but no. It's really not. The phase where it separates itself. Turns into those four monstrosities. By royal decree. Okay. Midnight Fantastic Time for Retribution. Oh, yeah. Order guide you. Come on, stun it. I forgot that it won't be stunned. Darn it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. What does matter is, is that I'm gonna defeat this guy. I'm getting closer and closer. It's almost dead. And I don't think I ever want to fight it ever again after this. Like, holy crap. Even though I'm probably gonna have to. 
I don't know if there's like a faster way to get rid of these guys yet, anyways. That might look it up. Stabilize. It could be possible that this really is this long of a process. At least this time the enemy is actually coming up to me instead of making me chase them. Does that make sense? Like part of the problem before was that the enemy was not making it easy to actually target them. The battle at Narutami Island, okay? Uh, no, I'm not challenging it again. Are you crazy? Are you, are you nuts, game? Why would I ever ch challenge that again? I mean, I might, but I'm certainly not doing that on camera again. Oh crap, that, that battle took like what? A whole 10 minutes? A little bit uh, insane, in my opinion. Okay, let's uh, mark this on the map. Wherever it might be, it's somewhere around here. I saw a. Uh... Actually, it's further away than that, isn't it? Not quite there, is it? So it's like over here, maybe. Well, it's even further than that. That's crazy. I'm looking at the mini map and trying to judge where... Okay, there we go. I think that's finally it. Now, where is Muzen? Because... I guess that was it, probably, for that. Let's check out what we can buy here. Okay, I almost have enough for the Crown of Insight, and I definitely want to get that, so I'm going to have to do that fight one more time just to get that, which is kind of annoying to me, but it's worth it. Uh, let's get all of these, since I can, or at least most of these. The rest of these are just cheap stuff that I can get get as many of those as possible. Okay. And then I'll hold off until I can buy that crown of insight because that's kind of an important uh, item there. Need to get as many of those as possible for being able to max out the talents that characters have. Um because I think that you can only get those during special events anyways. Uh, now that I've done that, the next thing on the list of things to do would actually be to continue the story. But I am not gonna do that in this video because uh, of some obvious reasons. Can I teleport back here? Okay, yes I can. Now that I've visited once, it'll let me teleport back there. Which is nice, obviously. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get closer to where this next story quest is uh, at. And then I'm going to end the video. Um, I don't know if this is going to be inside of a building. Or like in terms of you know zoning in somewhere. Or what. But now it's going to be on the outside somebody there. I don't know uh, who that is, but thank you very much for watching. The next time I play, I'm going to be talking to this person that's over there. Uh, and if, uh, if it's necessary, if I think it's necessary, I might uh, do some more of the lightning round and weaving lightning. I don't, I'm definitely not going to do the automate in, uh, automate in front on video again because that just takes too long it's it's that whole fight was insane uh so anyways thank you again see you next time and bye bye